Hey guys, and welcome to the studio. Today is Sunday. Today is a studio maintenance cleaning, mostly cleaning up day, because I already put everything in place. That's step number one. Step number two, like vacuum cleaning the floor and cleaning it so that everything is tomorrow on Monday ready again for DJing, music production, and all this kind of stuff. This one right here is also something for tomorrow, because first the work then the fun and I thought instead of showing you how I clean up the studio which is really boring to do another special episode about the most epic studios and electronic dance music. So first up, maybe let's start with my studio really quick. It's not epic, but I think it's nice. I'm proud of it, so I want to share it with you. So first of all, we got the A studio. Like the desk, don't look at the desk. That's still, like I still need a proper desk. A little bit of outboard gear, huge speakers, an entire DJ setup. Our reverb chamber, AKA the hallway. Office, not that interesting. The disco room, very interesting. It's actually just connecting the B studio and the vocal booth. This was a lot of work. And then of course the smaller B studio that is actually acoustically treated a little better. So let's get started by actually the most, by far most requested studio in the last episode. And that was actually the studio of that mouse. I don't think I have to explain who he is, but let's look at his studio. It is in his home. It's technically speaking a home studio, but one of epic proportions. It's first of all, huge, very long room, acoustically treated on all sides, ceiling as well, huge built into the wall speakers, a nice desk in front of it with a lot of outboard gear. I think the outboard gear, especially the wall of synthesizers, makes his studio very special. Also, he has a fully installed surround sound Dolby system in his studio, which is very rare, especially in a studio that is actually made for producing electronic music. It's usually just like installed in studios that are geared towards making film music and scores. But either he wants to have that option later on, or he just like, I don't know, did it because he can, just for the fun, just sitting there listening to music like all over the place, maybe watching movies. There's also like a, a screen that goes down so that you can actually see what's happening in the DAW. He's still mostly producing with his laptop, so he attaches his laptop to the entire system, probably due to touring a lot and him actually playing live, so he might need those projects on the go, producing on the go and doing his live show, of course, in that huge cube that just recently got updated. Next up, the studio of Afrojack, a Dutch DJ and producer, a very tall guy, by the way. He has a cozy studio. I absolutely love the vibe of it, at least like telling from the pictures. It looks very comfortable and, and like chilled and relaxed, like, like sitting in there drinking some whiskey and making some good electronic music, which is a huge step up if you compare it to his previous studio that was like really just like a simple home studio. Probably something most producers have when they start out, just like speakers their computer and that's usually it. But I think this also shows us that you can achieve really great things and a lot with a little. But I'm also sure like with a properly acoustic treated room and just like being in a studio separate from your home and like feeling a different vibe, you might actually work a little bit faster and more efficient. But again, this shouldn't stop you from trying hard and making good music with little amounts of equipment and not really having a studio. It's possible without a doubt. And I have to say what I love the most about his studio is actually the couch. It looks really comfortable. Like again, whiskey drinking, relaxing. Next up is the studio by Hardwell because it was heavily requested. I'm not a huge fan of it actually because it's like all white, very 
very clean, very modern. I, I couldn't make music in there. This doesn't really inspire me. But some people absolutely love this kind of style, having LEDs and everything like really, really clean, like Apple-like. It's also fully acoustically treated to the max. Nice speakers, straight built again into the wall and not a whole lot of equipment actually. So probably someone mostly producing in the box. Next up, even more Dutch people, like electronic dance music is really heavily influenced by Dutch people. They're probably the, the biggest nation when it comes to EDM. But this is the trio of Noisia, three guys in, in the Netherlands, Groening to be more precise. They have a studio which is, is really amazing and unique. Everything custom made, built from the ground up, nothing is shaking off, the vibrations are cancelled. Huge speakers, nice custom made desk that really also inspire me to finally make a desk for the Ace Studio, maybe one day if I have the time to. Because it, need, it needs to be a proper nice desk. And I think the most unique thing that pops up directly is the, the front wall being made out of glass and the speakers built into that glass. That's very, very, very rare, very expensive. And you have to have a lot of knowledge to actually pull that off. Because soft fit mounting speakers is technically really complex and can go horribly wrong. And doing that in glass is like, next level up. I would actually love to go there, visit it, and just check out how the acoustic is actually. I hope you enjoyed these studios. That's already it with today's episode. I have to go back to trying to get this studio clean again. I, I, I might, It might not look that dirty like through the camera, but trust me, it is. If you're interested to see the studio of Martin Garrix, Steve Aoki, Nikki Romero, Dennis Koju, and Martin Forward, just check out the, the first episode of this little new segment within my daily DJ and producer vlog. If you're interested in following me along throughout my career, making music, promoting music, playing gigs, and just advancing, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see us tomorrow back again for another episode here on this channel.